Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I know it's July and it's a little bit early, but some stores have started putting out Halloween decorations and I feel like some of the really cute stuff is always put out first and then you never see it again. Um, and it seems like a lot of stores are starting to do their fall things and that, yeah, I know, it's just how it is in retail. Uh, so I've actually seen a lot of people finding some super cute stuff at Home Goods, so I thought we would check out a couple Home Goods stores. Um, I think TJ Maxx and Marshalls might be slowly putting their stuff out, but Home Goods is always, like, really early. And I've never really done a Home Goods, like, shop with me here in the channel, but this is gonna be, like, a Halloween decor early <laughs> shop with me just to see what's out there. I don't know if I'll buy any Anything. If there's anything super cute, maybe. I love the cutesy, girly Halloween things. So, yeah, I thought we would go ahead and film this today. I asked you guys on Instagram if you guys wanted to see it, and a lot of you guys said yes because I know a lot of people still are really excited for Halloween. I know Bath and Body Works is doing their Halloween preview very soon. So, let's go inside and see what stuff we can find. We're at Home Goods and we came across the Halloween section. They do have a, it looks like, one full section so far of stuff but here's a little overview of what they have so far oh those are cute back there so the first thing that caught my eye is this little mug set here these are so cute it's a set of two mugs there's a pumpkin and then there's a little ghost this is what i mean when i'm talking about cutesy halloween this is the stuff i like so adorable and it's 12.99 not too shabby found these as well which i love i'm a huge disney halloween nut so nightmare before christmas has me in a chokehold so we have a fun at jack and sally mug as well these look really nice and these are 14.99 they have this really cool gold skull which has a bunch of like floral on it kind of different this is for 9.99 little gold pumpkin here's another skull that's more stone looking this is really cute too. This is like figurine, you can put stuff inside. $19.99 for that. They have this candle holder from Martha Stewart home. They can put some candlesticks in, make it very like Haunted Mansion like. $14.99 for that. There's a giant boo sign back here. That's actually pretty cool. And then another Nightmare Before Christmas mug. Ooh, this has Oogie Boogie on it. That's cool for $5.99 and they have this cool haunted house back here it's always fun to look for stuff that's not just like pumpkins and skulls and all that so this would be really cool and it lights up too for $19.99 this is a cool light up jack-o-lantern too they have lots of these this witch is about to go off I think. <laughs> like every time someone walks by it starts making noises they're starting to put out some like different towels, these hand towels with the spider webs. That's fun. By the brand Home Caro for $12.99. These Mickey and Minnie salt and pepper shakers I've seen at TJ Maxx too. Some more towels with bats on them. I love the purple. Lots and lots. Oh, ghosts. I love ghosts. These look like the ones I bought last year. But how cute there's a bunch of different ones but i love this little ghost print and they have some like dogs and halloween costumes kind of random and then there's some blankets another dogs with halloween costumes on not really my taste but <laughs> i guess oh that seems to be a theme this year here's this one this is cute a witch one love that it has like a spell book a witch on her broomstick there's a black cat on there for $16.99 it's super soft this one and then I think oh these are cute the cupcakes and cashmere this is my style pink it's a skull and crossbones and super fuzzy kind of like the barefoot dreams this is $24.99 that one's probably my favorite and this one I was seeing if they had anything in some other aisles, but I think that's all they have so far at this first store, so I'll check maybe a couple other ones and see what they have. Oh wait, I did find some pillows back here. It looks like a bunch of ghost ones. So cute. I bought some really good ones last year, I think at Marshall's, that I'm probably going to reuse, but these are so fun. For $24.99, that one has the black with the ghost, and then the other side's like a cream. I love this orange one, it's super soft as well, and this skeleton one. You guys, look at this one I just spotted back here. 
This is cute. It's like pastel. I love it. So it has like pastel green with ghosts. There's some bats and some like skulls on here. That is so fun. $24.99. That's definitely my favorite one so far. Adorable. This is the second home goods I decided to check and they have so much more. I don't know if they just got shipment in or what, but they have a ton of stuff here. Wow. Look at all this. Look at all the globes. A bunch of different figurines with skeletons. They have this really cool skeleton like bowl you can put candy in. It's 39. These are cute little ghosts, like a ghost garland back there. They have these little candy looking houses. I remember seeing these last year. It's supposed to light up too. I like those a lot. I don't know if we saw this, but this is cute little smiling ghosts. More like spiked pumpkins. And then I actually bought this last year and it's the cutest thing. They were so hard to find last year, so grab them now, but it's a little black pumpkin with ghosts on it for $12.99. Definitely one of my favorite pieces that I got last year. There's some jeweled spiders that you could put. That's fun. A bunch more huge skulls. I like this little stacked pumpkin. This looks like Maleficent. <laughs> I think that is her. Got some spiders. This, wow. This is cool. Welcome to our sweet haunted home. And it lights up. That's a really cool piece. Here's a nice welcome sign. And then they have some more like ghost garland. A bunch of these skeletons that are like plastic and have like sequins and stuff on them. Here's one that's like all diamondy. Very interesting. Not really my style, I don't know. These hanging skeletons too. This one, I feel like sh maybe glows in the dark, I don't know. Okay, there's some more stuff over here, I think. Oh wow, there's two aisles full back here, so lots of stuff. They have everything. I love this jack-o'-lantern. The pink, that's so pretty. And this one, oh, look at this candle. I think it's a candle a bra. I don't know how to say it, but that's so cute. I love that. That's Martha Stewart home. I seem to like her stuff a lot, but I love anything pink. It does come in like a silver back there and a purple. I think we saw the purple at one of the other stores. This is a fun little glitter crow. Here's just like a little overview. I won't pick up every single item to show you because that would get annoying. I'm just kind of showing you some of my favorites. I like these little pumpkins as well. It's again the see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil thing going on. And a bunch of like yoga, yoga skeletons too. And I guess they make nutcracker Halloween stuff now. Look at all this. Here's a little Jack and Sally sugar and creamer set. And then we have this Disney mug set too. It has like the Minnie and Mickey with the scary shadows. This is a cool purple skull. It looks duochrome. That's so cool. I don't know if I'm buying anything today, but there is some really good stuff here. Like Home Goods is the place to go for Halloween. But I like this skull as well. I also really like this down here, this Hocus Pocus cauldron with the skulls coming out. This one's also supposed to light up. This is $16.99. I really like that. And then the other side here, let's see what can we find. Here's another pink skull. If you like girly Halloween, this has pink pastels and all of that. There's another one up here. Look at this huge stacked one with the pastel colors. That's so cool. And then they have pink witch boots, again, with the girly Halloween theme that I, I just love. Oh, I love, 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 love this. It's a Hey Boo pumpkin. Pink pumpkin. This one looks kind of weird, though. I don't get that. It's like it's half done. I don't know. But I love the pink pumpkin. There's a Love Never Dies little picture, 3D picture of potions with spiders. These are really nice looking. I feel like they look like old school Halloween. Nice glass. Another girly find. I love the pastels. And this one has a little frog on it. It reminds me of Harry Potter. The Potions and Spells book. That's for $16.99. It's so cute. I love it. I didn't see this skull before. It's glass. But it looks like a very pretty pink marble. 
very shiny. And then there's a cute little cat back there with a pink witch's hat too. So lots of girly Halloween it looks like. So as you guys can see, they had so much stuff. There was so many cute things. And I feel like they have a lot of cute girly things this year, which is totally my vibe. Especially in my makeup room, I love a good pastel, cutesy Halloween theme. And I don't like anything too spooky scary, but they had some really cool stuff. Like, I was very tempted to buy, but... I kind of want to set out all my Halloween decor first and just see what I have. Um, I might start putting it out, honestly. I might start putting it out very soon, like August. Or maybe a little bit before that, we'll see. But I'm going to go through all my stuff to see what I have so I'm not, so I can kind of place it and see what I need. So I'm not just over buying stuff because there's definitely some stuff I would really like to have. But I don't like to go too overboard with decor things because it just, it's a lot of space. You have to like store it throughout the year. It's kind of annoying to like clean around. So I don't like to go too crazy with the decor. But yeah, that's kind of what Home Goods had this week. Now, I also wanted to check out, I'm actually at the parking lot. Of, I don't know if you guys can see but it's called at home and I think they have a bunch of these stores around we have one here in Des Moines and it's all home decor and it's huge and I saw on Instagram today that they had some really cool nightmare before Christmas stuff so I wanted to go see if I could find it or just see what they have because they put stuff out early here all the time too because that's all they specialize in so after the 4th of July it's always Halloween mode and fall mode um, I don't know if you guys caught my Target video last week, but there's a couple fall things in that video, but they don't have their Halloween stuff out quite yet. They probably will after back to school. I think they start their Halloween shop, so that should be mid-August, but I saw they put Halloween online, so I don't know. I just thought this would be fun to go to the stores and just see all the decor. Let me know if you guys like this, but let's see if we can find this Nightmare Before Christmas stuff at the at-home store. I know they're going to have a lot of stuff. Look at this. I already walked in, and they have a humongous skull thing that is insane they do have some fun fall stuff too but i'm kind of looking more at halloween oh look at these these are little neon light things they have an led bat light i think i got one of these last year from tj maxx so i'll have to set mine up but it's only ten dollars and they also have a fun little pumpkin one and look at all these <laughs> blow up things that they have too to put outside oh my goodness this pumpkin is humongous. It goes to the ceiling. I don't know if you guys have ever seen those huge like um, skeletons that people have. I always thought that would be so cool to have. Oh, it looks like over here they have some fun drinkware. They always have really cool stuff here. But yeah, they have like skull cups. They're glass. So they feel nice. And then these are cute. I like these with the straws and they have this multicolored one as well. These are only $2.99 too. I also like that they have these skull shot glasses as well, a set of six, and this fun skull drink canister. Then they have a bunch of pumpkins over here. These all light up. They're $5.99, they're plasticky, so they're not the best quality, but if you want something just cheap. But they come in all sorts of different colors and different faces. You could do, they have, they even have pink and purple. Here's some of the fall and Halloween mix that they have here. Is this the same cauldron that was at Home Goods? I feel like that's very similar. This is cute. I love the hat too. This reminds me of the Harry Potter sorting hat. This little witch's hat, elixir, different potion bottles. Okay, I love this. It looks like little bubble letters. It says boo. That is adorable. It's glass. It's $8.99. And this little ghost is adorable. Look at this pumpkin. It has little bats on it. I definitely have a wreath like this. I got Target years ago. There's definitely some Halloween noises in the back. <laughs> if you guys could hear. But wow, they have so many things here. Look at this pumpkin with the skulls peeking out. That's cool. Okay, I think that's it for this row. I still haven't found Nightmare Before Christmas. I bet they have another section though, so let's go see. All right, I see the Nightmare Before Christmas stuff down here, but here's another row of all Halloween things. Oh, I really like all this stuff. But check this out. It's all Nightmare Before Christmas, I love. So they have a humongous 
plastic light up, I guess. Jack Skellington pumpkin. 59, it is huge though. And then they have the little dog, zero. That is so cute. I think this also plugs in and lights up. And then you could just get a small Jack Skellington pumpkin that also lights up for $7.99. And they have the double as well. So yeah, that's the stuff I saw on Instagram. They also have this fun like potion bottle and then love you to death. And this little tombstone, which I bought something similar. This is rubber, interesting. I bought something similar like this at Walmart last year. And then these are little mini ones too that light up. Oh, they even have Oogie Boogie. Let's see what else is over here, because I had some cool stuff. Eerie Estates, it's called. I love this bowl. And all these marine skeleton things. There's more like pearl jeweled skulls. Those are really cool. These pumpkins are cool too with the portraits on them. This is very Haunted Mansion vibes. So cool. So yeah, that's kind of an overview of what they have so far for Halloween. They don't have a lot of pastel stuff here like Home Goods does, but I don't know. This pieces seem really nice here too. Maybe a little bit more expensive, but they seem decent quality. Hey guys, so it's a couple days later. I wanted to go ahead and turn my camera on because I wanted to show you guys the new Tree Hut fall scrubs that I got from Ulta. And I thought I would just throw them in here because I mean, it's kind of a fall related video anyway. So I thought it would be fun. I've just started getting in the Halloween spirit already. I got my Bath and Body Works Halloween order in a couple days ago. So check out my haul up on YouTube with that. I've been making some content already with things. So I've already started putting out some of my <laughs> decor. I did burn this everlasting magic candle yesterday and I'm not that impressed and I feel like I burned it too much to return it but I burned this like a decent amount of time yesterday and I don't think it's very strong at all and these are the expensive ones so I'm kind of disappointed with that scent so far but yeah I just set these out here to take some content videos um, but yeah let me go ahead and show you guys the fall tree hut scrubs I got okay so a bunch of these launched on Ulta Sunday and it was an accident I guess they weren't supposed to launch them but I was able to order everything and they came actually pretty fast so <laughs> I guess you guys get a little sneak peek here sorry they are not available yet and if they look sold out on Ulta, I think they're coming back. And I'm sure they'll be on Target and Walmart as well. But it seems like they're going all out for fall this year. So the first thing I got, this was so cute. I already opened it up, but it came in this little, it looks like a coffee bag. It's called the Coffee and Cream Gift Set. And inside was the new updated scrub, the coffee scrub. This is iced coffee sugar scrub. Love, love, love. I absolutely love the packaging. Now, their last coffee scrub they did, now they had a coffee scrub last year called Velvet Coffee. And something about that one was so off. It had a weird chemical smell to it. So they did discontinue that one. And this new one, I will tell you, it is better than ever. It is true authentic coffee. Just kind of similar to last year's, but without the nasty chemical smell. This literally smells like an iced coffee drink at Starbucks. It smells so good. I think this is a must have. I'm so glad that they improved it because I was so disappointed in last year's version. But this one exceeds my expectations. Also in that set was this body cream, the Sweet Cream Whipped Shea Butter. This also smells really good. Now, Tree Hut body creams aren't the strongest scents. I will tell you that they're pretty light in scent. But I really like how this one smells. I'm hoping they will have it in a scrub this year. I didn't see it yet or I haven't heard anything about it. But this smells like marshmallows and it really smells like the sweet cream cold foam that you would put on your drink. It's really sweet and yummy. Sometimes tree hut scents can be hit or miss and I think this one nails it. It does smell like a sweet cream. So yeah, I'm hoping to see this one in more forms this year. Now one I was not impressed with, okay, boba milk tea. I don't honestly know what boba milk tea would smell like, but I feel like it'd be really creamy, right? I've never had it, but let me know 
what you guys think. So this one, it says it has black tea coconut extract in like the notes, but something about this is so spicy. Like it reminds me of a floral spice. Something about it just does not mix well. I've seen people comparing it to the, what was it? The vanilla one that got discontinued. Why can't I think of the name? But I disagree. I think this is so much more spicy and it's not really that sweet at all. It's like a weird floral spicy scent. Not what I would expect the boba milk tea to smell like. So <laughs> this one I personally think is a pass. It does not smell very good. Now they did come out with a pumpkin spice latte again and I think this is pretty similar to last year. I don't have it to compare because I used it up last year but I feel like it's the same or maybe even better. It smells so good though like if you guys are familiar with Bath & Body Works pumpkin cupcake candle, that's what this one reminds me of. Like an authentic pumpkin spice. It does smell very good. It also comes in a shower gel. So I picked that up too. I'm so excited to see. I'm hoping the others will have shower gels as well. So good. This one smells even more cupcake-like, but pumpkin bars, pumpkin spice is what it reminds me of. And then lastly, I picked up the Apple Macchiato. Looks like this. I know a lot of you guys were excited about this one because I don't think Tree Hut has done an apple scent. So I will say this doesn't really smell like a macchiato. Like it doesn't smell like an apple macchiato from Starbucks. But this has apple extract and malic acid. And it just smells like straight up apples with a hint of spice. I think it's pretty good. It smells like fall to me. But if you want like a true apple scent, that's kind of what this is. It smells like a fall apple treat. So that's the apple macchiato. I'm pretty pleased with these, honestly. I like all of them besides the milk tea. That's just my only pass item. So I will definitely let you guys know when these are available. I know a lot of you guys were able to buy them on the accidental release. I made like a little post about it. So thank you guys if you did use my link. I so appreciate it. But I wanted to go ahead and let you guys know what these were like. I'm definitely going to make some fun content with these for Instagram and stuff. But yeah, I thought I would throw those in this video because we're just getting excited for fall. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all I have to share with you today. Let me know if you guys liked this, if you guys want to see more. I don't know if I'll do much more Halloween hunting, but I can definitely do some more Shop With Me vlogs. And if we happen to stop at Home Goods, I mean, I'll definitely film some content. I'm kind of on the hunt for some pastel, I think it was ghost blankets. Was it ghosts or pumpkins? I don't remember, but I've been trying to find those. They've been going viral everywhere, so they're impossible to get your hands on. And I'm gonna set up my Halloween decor and see what stuff I can add to my collection. If I want to add anything, if I want to declutter some stuff and go for a different theme, we'll see. But I'm ready, I'm ready to start decorating. So thank you guys so much for watching the video. I'm so sorry if I used the word cute a hundred times because uh, that's how I love to describe things. So I'm so sorry. <laughs> I know it's so annoying when people do that and use the same words, but like I'm trying to describe the product and cute is just, this is one of my favorite words, I suppose. So anyways, I'm gonna let you guys go. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.